Right, this is a very quick video about Convergence and Unity 8. Uh, I did a video not so long ago showing you how long how it was coming on. Uh, this is the Ubuntu E5 HD. Uh, you can see it's it's got all, all the apps on it and stuff like that. It's a, quite a standard phone. Now, when I bought this phone I was led to, well I kind of believed that I would be able to plug a cable into this and this would uh, show up on a, a bigger screen and use it as a computer. Or, uh, or even wirelessly the, the display but we've been told that it might eventually work wireless uh, it won't with the cable so if you want to be able to do that with the phone then you, you want to be looking at the Miezu because there's a Miezu Pro coming out MX6 coming out soon it's got 10 core and 4 gigs of RAM which is phenomenal for a phone like you know it's but uh, so that's your first that's your first stage Basically, so what you what you see on there is what you get on this. This is the the N10 tablet slate. Um, as you can see, it's on the it's on the Logitech. Uh, it's been as a K80. Uh, it's quite a good keyboard. It's bigger than what I thought, but it's it's a very good keyboard. Um, probably the best keyboard that I've ever had. As you can see, it just works as a actually a general tablet. That's your weather app and all that kind of stuff. You see your standard, these are your standard apps. If you move forward to this this tab here, then you can see these are these are um, like standard Ubuntu apps. Uh, we use something called Libertine Puritine to to run stuff like Firefox and GIMP. These are all standard desktop packages, and you can if you if you hack it, you can install some yourself. You can see I've put a couple in down here that I've been testing with. You've got LibreOffice. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. It's um, it's improving. It's getting better. Uh, but as you can see, so that's like a like, like just like the phone. But when the convergent convergence part kicks in, I can show you basically what happens. Uh, that's the Logitech mouse, thin mouse. Right, so we we'll just turn that on, turn it over, wiggle it. We'll just give it a quick wiggle and a quick couple of taps, and then you'll see the magic kick in. There we go. Um, what actually happens then is it um, it changes into uh, uh, like a desktop then. That's what I thought was going to happen with the phone, but obviously it's only happening with this with the tablet and stuff. And then you can just use it as a um, like a full computer. You can basically get see that window there. Um, I can get that, drag it around, and just use it like a PC. So that's it converged. Um, now they're still working on. Um, on this quite a lot but it is it is maturing quite nicely every day I, I run my systems on RC proposed which uh, the thing with Ubuntu is you can pick which channel you want to run on if you want to run stable then you just run on stable if you want to run on the bleeding edge and get updates every day near enough every day and different features every day then you run a, a RC proposed you just run a, a command at the device and uh, and then it will switch uh, so that's that really. Um, as I say, there's, there's still cut things coming every day. We're, we're up to OTA uh, 12, which gets released this Wednesday. There's been a hell of a lot of changes gone on since I, I think I must have had this for about six months now, maybe less. And the amount of features and additions that they're adding every day is unbelievable. So it has come on leaps and bounds in the in the time that I've had it, and uh, I can only see it getting better. Uh, then I'm going to move to this. If I just get rid of this mouse, this is my um, it's my Dell XPS. Um, I think it's um, called named Sputnik. This was running, well, it is running Ubuntu 16.04. Uh, I decided just to try the Unity MIR package on it uh, yesterday, which I've had, I haven't had much luck with in the past. It's always been a bit of a pain to be honest with you. It's, it's never really worked. Uh, for some reason it just worked this time uh, as you can see <laughs> it almost you can if I put the phone next to it um, the, the whole layout of it so now I've got used to the phone I've been running the phone for a couple of years so being able to have something similar to all the apps that are on here are on, are on my laptop as well so it's, it's just that familiar setup if you will um, and as you can see if I move across I've got my X apps here so if I, I want to run like traditional desktop apps like my Firefox
There we go, just install some plugging or whatever. So we'll just get rid of that. Um, Google.com. That's Firefox in action. It's all signed into my Firefox account so I can get it to sync and stuff. Or if I want to do some, um, you know, some image work, uh, some graphic editing, uh, just open this up. There we go. Can do new images, open images, edit images, whatever I want really. Um, and if I want more, um, all I do is I just install them through through this at the moment. The the front the GUI that's that's this libertine GUI here. Um, it doesn't really work. Uh, it's being worked on at the moment, so I just basically it's quite straightforward to do it from the terminal. To be honest with you. Um, all the all these are just standard the app. So if I wanted to go on Google Plus, I can click on that, and uh, there's the app for it. It's as easy as that, and as you can see, it's quite snappy. A couple of things that I found were missing were like clipboard tool, and I mean that's not the end of the earth for me. It's so yeah, I'm just going to try running this for a little while, but that's that's you can basically see what convergence Unity Eight is all about now. That's the way that it's going, um, and maybe this this thing wants to get the wireless fixing it and then then this could be used as a, a computer um, I have had Libertine on this before which which runs the X apps I've just been watching a video of somebody running these 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 apps here uh, natively so without Libertine so I'm gonna look into that a little bit more but for now I've, I've got what I want from it I've got my email terminal all the apps that I could all the apps that I can need and ever need so yeah, just keep your eye out on um, Ubuntu for Convergence and Unity 8. Talk to you soon.